a wonderful Tuesday to all our learners, parents, and teachers from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Are you ready for a new English 10 learning adventure? Hold on tight as our e 2 Light online tutorial takes you there. A remarkable Tuesday tutor guide you die, ka itulay, especially to our dear wanderers. This is Tutor Guide Rem teaching you virtually yet heartily. We are your tutor guides for this wonderful English 10 learning adventure. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. We are your tutors and at the same time, your tour guides who will take you to a wonderful learning spot. Yes, yes, yes. And hello, hello to our fellow Italy tutors from the division of Lapu-Lapu City, headed by Sir Glennie Lapping and Dr. Robilyn Pastrano. Wow na wow po sa ating SDO Lapu-Lapu City, ka Italy tutors. Tour yes. guide Ram. Alam na po natin na ang buwan ng Oktobre ay Mental Health Month. True. And the theme tutor guide Jedi is to care for yourself and care for others. And we would like to share this beautiful verse from the Bible. The peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds. Amen. And I believe, Tutor Guide Ram, our wanderers are mentally ready now. So let's get ready for our English 10 learning adventure. Ready to wander as you wander around English 10 for beautiful learning spots. Do some treasure hunting, earn challenge passes, and be the wow or the wonder of the week. But wait. Yes, yes, yes. Stay tuned as we will be revealing to you a few minutes from now our wow or wanderer of the week and our wanderer's best outputs. But first, Tutor Guide Ram, let's check who are our top three early bird wanderers. Yes, Tutor Guide three. Three. Yes. We have our early wanderer. We have Felicity Loren. Wow. Hello, yeah. Felicity. And yes, and our second, our next wanderer is Harley Levin Apaga. Harley Levin Apaga, grade 10 Hello. in the Ramona Integrated School, Angadanan West District. Yes, and our third early bird wanderer, Tutor Guy Jedi, is from grade 10 Garnet from GNHS. I think this is Gutad National High School. Hello, Princess Pitalbo. Thank you for tuning in. Wow, thank you so much. And for today's learning adventure, dear wonders, you will do three challenges and a chance to earn 1515 token. Wow, 1515 token. That sounds interesting, Tutor Guide Rem. And congratulations to our WBO or our Wanderers Best Outputs. Wow. Most of them are from Makabebe, Makabebe. High School, Tutor Guide Ram. Congratulations. Yes. Thank wow. you so much. And Tutor Guide Jedi, we are now featuring our Wow Wonder of the Week. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> to Andre Martin Trinidad from Grade 10 Descartes in Makabebe High School, a certified WOW Wanderer. Very nice, complete, and napaka-punctual ng pag-submit ng output tutor guide Jedi. So congratulations, hats off, good job, Andre Martin Trinidad. Yeah, hey, congratulations. And uh, great job to you, Andre. Please, yes. by the way, dear Wanderers, Please do share. Please share our video today so that many will be reached as we teach. Tutor Guide Ram, they can use the Correct. hashtags Italy Level Up and Italy English Tech. 
thank you so much for sharing this video. Yay! Thank you so much. Also, please have a screenshot of our link and our QR code for, for today's student's feedback. My dear Wanderers, please know that your feedback is very important for us to address your needs. Right, Tutor Guide Ram? Yes, yes, yes. All right. All right. Okay. Here's a list of the previous learning spots. So na I hope na that we can still hear you, one. Tutor Guide Ram. Yes, and okay. there you go. Yes. And today, we will take yes. our dear wanderers to another learning spot that will surely give them remarkable learning experiences. And you will be moving from one learning spot to another to discover about evaluating and making judgment of literary texts. Mm -hmm. And of course, nagpapasalamat din po kami sa SDO. Cordillera Administrative Region, the Central Office SLMs, and Pivot 4A Calabarzon for their modules as our main references for today's learning adventure. Thank you. Yes, our dear wanderers, today you are expected to enumerate the common indicators in evaluating a literary text, distinguish the differences between subjectivity and objectivity in judging a literary text. You will be able to discuss how to evaluate a text using a set of criteria and evaluate and make judgments about the given text using a set of criteria. Right, and for a psychomotor, we are going to read and examine the given poem and practice sound judgment in interpreting the poem for effective domain. Yes, yes, yes. Dear Wanderers, can you still recall our treasure last session? In our previous learning adventure, you discovered an important skill that helps you in understanding the meaning of words and cues in communication. That is analytical listening. I hope you had a great time. Yes. And of course, we have learned that analytical listening is very important to avoid miscommunication, misinformation, yes. misconception, and misinterpretation. It also helps build confidence and relationships. And of course, it solves problems by critically considering the meaning of words and cues. That's right, Tutor Guy Judai. With that, our dear wanderers also learn about the stages of analytical listening. We have the remembering stage, responding, evaluating, understanding, and receiving. But of course, it will start with first on the first step, receiving up to the remembering stage. Right. Congratulations for the stages. <laughs> All right. Again, from receiving to remembering. Right. Yes, that's right. And then... Also, last session, we learned about solving problems using analytical listening. And how can we achieve it? All right, first, observe the stages of analytical listening. So this is how we solve problems. Second, you can listen to understand and identify the problem. To solve the problem, we have to know the problem. We have to identify the problem. And we can answer the who, what, how, when, where, and why before making a response. So that is how we solve problems using analytical listening. Right, there you go. Now, dear wanderers, we would like you to look at the picture that is being flashed to you right now. Take a look at it closely because this will guide you to have the first challenge for today's learning adventure. So we will be giving you 10 seconds to do that. Two, wow. All right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Time is up. Tutor guide Jedi. All right. 10 seconds up. 
I think you are all ready. And I think you already have an idea of our first challenge. So let's go to our first challenge. It is named, Let's Rearrange. All right, are you ready? I hope you are. Wow. If you're exciting. ready, let's go. All right. So we have question number one. But before moving to the question, let me read to you. What are you going to do with our first challenge? You are going to identify the correct word described in each sentence by rearranging the given jumbled letters. So for number one, it is the ability to form valuable opinions and make good decisions. We have answers already, Tutor Guide Ram. Yes, I can see that. All right. Wow. Thank you for the answers. And all of them actually got the correct answer. It is judgment. Right. It's judgment. What about number two? Mona Linda Sanyon. Thank you for watching, ma'am. My okay. friend. My for church number mate. two. Number two. We have here. It refers to being factual. Mm -hmm. Basing on observations and measurements. Factual. Factual wow, is basing on observations and measurements. Try to rearrange the jumbled letters here. For number Let's two, what do you think is the answer? Mm. Rainiel already have an answer. Mm. You almost got it, Rainiel. Almost. You actually lack, I think, four letters. <laughs> you can yeah. do better than that. I think you need to change one letter and add three letters. We have Daniela C. Mello, Tutor Guide Jedi. She says it's objectivity. Let's, Let's try check. to check okay. if she gets the correct answer. The answer. The correct answer for number two is indeed objectivity. Yes, this refers to being factual, basing mm -hmm. on observations and measurements. We have two words already to our guide ram. Number one is judgment. Number two is objectivity. Let's proceed to number three. There you go. For our third question... This refers to basing one's judgment shaped by personal opinions and feelings. So this is actually mm. the opposite of the second word. So please type the item number three together with your answer. Do not forget, all you have to do is to rearrange the jumbled letters. Wow, we have one from Diana Marine. She says, yeah. Sunshine Lozano says the same thing. Now, teacher, tutor guide you there. Let's reveal the correct answer All for number right. The correct answer is indeed subjectivity. Amazing, right? Done. Amazing, right? Mm -hmm. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed amazing. Wow. Right. Congratulations, dear wanderers. You got Good all job. the correct answers. And yes, I'm very I'm sure very you sure. got five over five token. Can you type now your tokens? Did you get five over five? How come it's five over five there? There's an item with two tokens, if you can True. still remember. Wow, let's see their scores. But before that, good afternoon. Watching from Donia Magdalena Gafford High School. Hello, grade 10 Aristotle. Right. Um, we will add these um, viewers from our wanderers from Gafford High School to their guide ram in our English yes. 10 gc right correct wow. we do congratulations. have congratulations we have many yes. five five tokens congratulations wow. congratulations all right, all right. All right. Good Good job. Job. i think his judgment is based on his feelings and the mm -hmm. other lady a beautiful lady answers that subjectivity mm. ah. yes they are right all right. So if the if the judgment is based on feelings, that mm -hmm. is subjective. Subjectivity. Right. You got it. <laughs> All right. And then here, I believe that he is fair in his judgment because nice. he has taken both sides of the argument. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then 
I see objectivity there, no doubt. Wow. wow. So we have uh, unlocked these words, subjectivity and objectivity to their guide rim. So if it's yes. uh, more on your feelings or emotions, subjective. Subjectivity, and then yes. Here, Ah, being fair in your judgment, mm -hmm. and then you're looking into the both into the si both sides of the argument. That is being objective. Let's proceed yes. to the guide round. All right. So, according to Thompson D. Bartol and Buckley, successful reading involves the following. So we have retrieving, interpreting, integrating reflecting and evaluating information so the word that is being emphasized here dear wonders is evaluating so today as what we have mentioned earlier tutor judai and i will teach you another skill so that you can be the best readers that you could be wow that's nice evaluating right. and when evaluating and judging a literary text, mm -hmm. one must be objective. Again, you have to be objective. This nice. means your personal feelings should be detached. Erase your personal feelings. Get Erase away everything. with your personal <laughs> feelings. No True. personal feelings if you have to be objective. And there is a set of criteria yes the key word here is criteria it is necessary to evaluate and make a judgment so for us to evaluate and make our judgment good sound we need a set of criteria what criteria Simply. are we talking about tutor guide ram so we have here the six common indicators so that our dear wanderers will be helped when they evaluate a literary text. So first, yeah. we have the content, cohesion, grammar, mechanics, word choice, and tone. So along the way, Tutor Guide Judai and I will slowly and surely explain to our dear wanderers what is this criterion, each criterion. Yes? Right. So let's first have content. Content, from the word itself, it refers to the idea. The idea, the concept, yes. the focus, or the details of the subject matter as discussed in the text. So if you are an evaluator and you have to look into the content, you focus on the idea presented on the concepts on the details discussed in the text for cohesion cohesion refers to the connection organization words phrases ideas and concepts presented in the text so how can you take a look at the cohesive devices cohesive mm -hmm. devices, and the transitional words. That's yes. for content and cohesion. Now let's move to the other indicator. Next, we have the grammar. It's not something new to everyone, but let me just emphasize that this is a very important indicator in evaluating a text because this deals with fluency and accuracy in terms of language structure and facility. So how the sentence is being structured what tense is being used that comprises under the indicator grammar and of course the fourth category or the indicator is mechanics so this has something to do with the accuracy in punctuation and capitalization if the letter is being capitalized or not and if there is an appropriate punctuation being used because this really matters to every reader so that you, dear wanderers, upon reading something, it can be a poem or a short story, you will be able to, you know, evaluate it properly through the punctuation and capitalization. So there you go. Right. Thank you. That's for grammar and mechanics. And for the fifth one, fifth indicator or criteria, one of the criteria, we have um, word choice. Word choice. 
this deals with the appropriateness of words, especially in terms of depth and level of formality. So you can take a look at the words being used. Is it formal or informal based on the text's audience? Again, for the word choice, under depth and level of formality, it could be formal or informal based on the text's audience. We also have to consider our audience. And then for tone, tone refers to the emotion or the feelings attached as expressed by the text. So while reading a literary text, you can feel the emotion, the feeling, all right? The feeling um, it, that you can find, that you can see in the text. So that's for tone, emotion, or feelings. Though, dear wanderers, there are still other points to consider in evaluating a text. You might wonder, are, are these the only indicators that we can use? Actually, there are still other points to consider, but these yes. six are the most common. They are the most common criteria used in evaluating a text. So that's I agree. It to the guide guide. Guide. Yes. Yes. We have For already unlocked the six. To be guided. Correct. Yes. Yes. They will be able to, they will be guided as well, Shooter Guide Jedi, in evaluating a literary text using content. First, these three questions will help our dear wonders how to do it. So first question, yes. they can ask like, which character do I most relate to? Which wow. lines describe the setting most effectively? And what is mm -hmm. the message of the story or of the poem that they have just read? So these yes. three guide questions will help our wonders how to evaluate a text using the criterion content. All right. And then for cohesion, for cohesion, you might use these questions. We're talking about connections, right? So how do the transition words help you understand the plot of the story if you found some transition words how how did it help you understand the plot of the story another question that would guide you to answer the cohesion is what can you say about the sequence of events in the story the sequence of events in the story right Yes. All right, we're the down to the grammar criterion. So do you see any syntactic blunder or something that is not correct in the usage of grammar or within the sentence structure? Or is the language structure fit to any type of audience? So these two questions help our dear wanderers, tutor guide Jedi, to be able to evaluate a literary text using this criterion grammar so they really have to check or to notice that the tense of the verb that is being used if this is present past or if the structure of the sentence or even the language is fitting to the type of audience or reader that they are so i guess that helps our dear wonders in evaluating or making judgment using this criterion, grammar. Yes, right? indeed. Right. Yes, yes, yes. And for mechanics, for mechanics, they, mm -hmm. you, my dear wanderers, can be guided with these questions, with these guide questions. Are the punctuation marks appropriately used? Okay, are the punctuation marks appropriately used? And you can also ask yourself, is capitalization well observed? So when you look at a text, you can check if there is a correct usage of the punctuation marks and yes. correct capitalization. That's for yes. mechanics. Yeah. And word choice. So these two questions should be guiding our wonders. First is, 
are there new vocabularies presented? So upon reading, you may notice that there are words that are unfamiliar to you. So that is a very good tool for you to be able to browse your dictionaries and look for the meanings of mga unfamiliar words. And the next question that will guide you is this question. Did the author create a vivid picture using the given words in the story or in the po poem? So I think that somehow helps our dear wonders, you dear wonders, to be able to, you know, pick up those words so that you can be helped in understanding the text or in evaluating it. So those are the two questions that will guide you in evaluating a text. Right. And how can we evaluate a text using tone? For how? tone, you may ask this question. What are the positive and negative tones used in the text? Hmm. Are there positive or negative tones the used tones? in the text? What is the prevailing tone in the text? Hmm. Right. Yes, Again, tone you know. refers to the emotions or feelings. All right. Very good. So what is judgment? So this refers to the ability to form valuable opinions and good decisions. So I really like this topic, Tutor Guide Jedi, because this is a very helpful lesson to our dear wanderers to be able to make sound or good decision so this will surely help them so as you may notice it's not easy once you are you know you are being picked to judge a contest like a beauty contest means universe and then of course there are lots of candidates there are lots of categories like q a portion and then as a judge it is so challenging to be able to choose the best candidate who did answer or give or deliver a very nice answer so that is all right so is shooter guide jedi here with us okay so i think let me just proceed all right so we will be welcoming back tutor guide jedi anytime so Yes, as I have mentioned a while ago, judging is a skill that we really have to develop because it will surely help us in choosing the best and in making good decision. Okay, so I hope that our wonder are still with us. Do not worry, Tutor Guy Jedi will be with us once again okay so as you can see i know that you can still remember that this can you see my screen all right so all right so thank you for that so i know that our wonders can now see the screen. Yes, Shooter Guy Jedi. So, welcome back. So, we have yeah, no, well, well. So, this is very important to be able to evaluate a text. Right, Shooter Guy Jedi? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, here we have challenge number two. So this challenge is called Let's Answer. Okay, so we have here question number one. Tutor Jedi will read the instruction. All right. For our instructions. Okay. You're going to read. Okay, for a while, let me check. Challenge number two, right? You're yes, going to you're read going to and examine the poem below, written by Jose La Villa Tierra. Jose La Villa Tierra is a famous poet hailed from Antimon and Cousin. And then after reading, we're going to answer some questions. Okay, we're going ah, to answer the questions that follow. Right. Okay. 
Let me check first. Okay. So now, let's read the poem. This is A Ballad of a Mother's Heart by Jose La Villa Tierra. The night was dark, for the moon was young, and the stars were asleep and rare. The clouds were thick, yet youth went out to see his maiden fair. Dear one, he pleaded as he knelt before her feet in tears. My love is true. Why have you kept me waiting all these years? The maiden looked at him and moved. It seemed and whispered low. Persistent youth, you have to prove by deeds your love is true. There's not a thing I would not do for you, beloved, said he. Then go, said she, to your mother, dear, and bring her heart to me. Without another word, youth left and went to his mother, dear, and opened her breast and took her heart. He did not shed a tear. Then back to his maiden fair he ran, and mindful of the rain, but his feet slipped and he fell down, and loud he groaned with pain. Still in his hand he held the prize that would win his maiden's hand, and he thought of his mother dear, so kind, so sweet, so fond. And then he heard a voice, not from his lips, but all apart. Get up, it said. Were you hurt, child? It was his mother's heart. Such a, a lovely poetry. Yeah, a ballad right, so of a mother's heart. A copy of the entire poem for our wonders to screenshot. You may take a picture, all right? Take yes. a screenshot. And Tutor Guide Ram will share a video. Yes. Okay, so let me share a very nice video. Actually, this is the video, uh, the, the poetry, the poem that, we, that Tutor Guide Judai and I have just read. So I hope that you they are now seeing my screen. Okay, for a while. There you go. All right. Because we would yes. like you to really watch this because I know that this will help you in evaluating the poem about a mother's heart. So I hope that you can now see the screen. Grammarly, Grammarly business, business is an AI powered writing. writing. Okay, let me just skip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Can you now see my screen? Yes, Tutor Guide Ram. Wow, Tutor Guide Ram. Hello, my dear wanderers. Do you understand the poem now? I guess. Because yeah. our questions right. are ready. Tutor Guide Ram, question number one. All right, so you know, I was being carried away. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me read question number one. What significant characteristics of a mother are described in the poem? So mm -hmm. you may type the item number together with your answer. Oh, I almost cried. <laughs> yeah. It's so right. All right, dear wanderers, would you like us to uh share with you the entire poem let me uh -huh. right tutor guide ram i hello tutor guide ram yes all right so hello. let's give them time to screenshot right yeah i am flashing right now the copy of the entire poem for our dear wanderers to 
uh, be guided in their answers. I hope you're done. We have answers already to your guide, Rem. Yes, wow. we have from Diana and Sean Antoinette, Pia Rainier. Oh, so kind, so sweet, and so fun. Right. That's nice. Shall we reveal if their answer is correct to their guide, Rem? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, so I think all of them, yeah, I think all of them got the correct answer. The correct answer is, yes, the characteristics of so a mother kind. described in the poem so are so fun. kind, so, so sweet, sweet, and yes, so indeed. Congratulations. You got it right. right. They got That's one token for that. Yes. Correct. Let's proceed to number two. Yes, Tutor Guide Jedi. For number two, how is the mother's heart measured in the poem? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have answers from, um, we have many answers from Ashley Tolento, uh, Yona Lynn, Leah. That from Luna Lynn, my friend. Wow. Kai, ah. <laughs> that is. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Luna. Jayton Einstein watching from Dona Magdalena Kapod High School. Hello. Yes, number two, the prize for the maiden's heart. Mm. That's from Princess. Like life. a life, according to Rainiel. Like a life, Rainiel. <laughs> like a life. Wow. Love so is in, like the, yeah, in the point to your guide, Ram, yeah, actually, answers may vary here. It's up mm, to yes, you how you interpret. Probably, maybe, um, we can say that the mother's heart is measured by the extremity, the extremity of her love. Exactly. How, how, what's the level, the limit of the mother's love? Which, if we really uh, understand, we can say that yeah. it is unconditional. That yes. despite what the son had done, mm -hmm. she still shows her love, her care, and support to her son. Right, Tudor Guide Rem? Yes. yes, what about yes. number three? Let's proceed right. to number three. The third question, dear wanderers, how will you relate the context of the poem to your own mother? Mm -hmm. So this question is makabagbag damdamin, heartwarming. Yeah. Yes, I know of course. That, mm -hmm, yes. This is not Mother's Day or Mother's <laughs> Day, but I think every day we really have to consider Yes, our mother's love. Yes, I think we have answers. Yeah, answers may vary, but let us share to you share. our own answers. Let yes. me read. Share your answer. <laughs> My late mother was as loving and selfless as the one in the poem. One vivid moment I shared with her was when she did not eat a meal until my siblings and I finished eating. She only took the leftovers. Wow. So we have here one from Diana. Even though I'm stubborn, she still managed to love and understand me. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think let's move to number four. <laughs> yes, number four. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. what do you think is the reason? What do you think is the reason why Lavilia Tiara entitled his work as such? A ballad to a mother's heart. So here we have uh, an answer. So I think the reason so again answers vary i think the reason why la Villa tierra entitled the poem as such is because it tells a story a ballad tells a story a story of the unconditional love of the mother so the mother's heart there is unconditional love that's a tutor guide room so yes. touching so right i think they have five five token for that because I'm answers sure. may vary and of course if it has something to do with a connection with the poem that we have just discussed okay now let's proceed to the third challenge shooter guide to die yes and so, challenge three is let's evaluate yes. evaluate so let's evaluate to guide rem so we have okay. discussed the different indicators in evaluating a text so this time mm -hmm. with the same poem the same poem we have um we're gonna evaluate the poem so True. evaluate the poem we have here the diagram. indicators the six common indicators they are going to use these 
criteria, these criteria, these indicators to evaluate the poem, A Ballad to a Mother's Heart. So we have here, Tutor Guide Judai and I have prepared uh, an example. Okay. Yes, this will be their guide, Tutor Guide Ram. Mm -hmm. Kindly screenshot, this will be your guide. But um, evaluating Tutor Guide Ram really needs time, right? Yes. True. Yes, and our time is not enough for our learners to evaluate. So we are going to give you an example, a sample answer for this exercise. Nice. Right. So here, Twitter Guide Ram. So with the indicator, with the content, you can say that the poem is about the unconditional and unequivocal love of a mother to a son who chooses a romantic love over his mother. So mm -hmm. in the cohesion, it's on point and organized connection of words. And on the grammar, no syntactic blunder in terms of the poet's language familiarity. So it's um, easier for us to understand. And with the mechanics, yes? Yes, for the Children mechanics, guide. the punctuation and capitalization are beautifully put together. So, okay, for the punctuation and capitalization. Word choice, the words used create vivid images. Uh, and yes. phrasing is formal. The phrasing uh -huh. used, it's formal. For the tone, really, it's touching. Yes, I agree. And it's heartening. <laughs> too bad that, too bad that they chose to get and the heart of the mother just for the maiden. Mm -hmm. Dear Wonders, yeah. please, you have to choose and you have to do it well when it comes to choosing the love of your life. Now we have this. Yes. Did you get five five token? I think they got five five token. Yes, wow, five five and, token. Yes, and because of that, Twitter guide ramp for sure. They have yes. earned three challenge passes, mm -hmm. right? And okay. Yes, what should you remember? All right. So in making judgments, it is necessary that evaluators form the sense of what is this sense yes. of objectivity, objectivity. and mm -hmm. being objective means being what being fair and giving judgment varies from one from images media text and yes other form of images nice right. Next. also in judging these complex works or any literary mm -hmm. works or performances it would be easier with the help of a criteria criteria yes. so these criteria guide the evaluators on the scope and limitation limitation of what to judge or examine correct yeah. and they have learned that the most common indicators in evaluating a text include this content cohesion mechanics grammar word choice and tone Right. For our additional <laughs> activities. Additional right. exercise. Yes, that's what we have agreed in our GC. They're going to PM their outputs to Twitter Jedi and Twitter Rem. For the additional exercise, we're going to read the final question and answer of the Miss Universe 2018. Read. And then the question is what is the most important lesson you've learned in your life and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? So please screenshot. If you want to watch the video, that's the link of the video. And yes. screenshot also to the guide Rem, the answer of Catriona Gray. Yes, please screenshot. Try. You can screenshot, take a screenshot. And yes. of course, yes, you guide course, to die. Number two. Yes, they're going to follow the same, the same uh, format to the guide Rem. Using a table here, there's an indicator. So the indicators, the six indicators, and then what are yes. their observations or explanations? You may be guided with the examples that we have given. True. Right, Tutor Guide Ram? Yes, yes, right. yes. So I know that you have learned some something nice today. So please do not forget to answer this exit quiz using the link or the QR code. Take a screenshot, please, as what you have as what you can see, we have your a sample of our wanderer who really took the time to answer the exit quiz and he got a perfect score. Congratulations, <laughs> right, Tutor Guide Jedi? Yes, yes, yes. Congratulations.
And of course, we have references for our uh, for all the topics and the lessons that we have. Here are our references. Thank you to these references. And we yes. would like to appreciate your feedback, dear Wanderers. Thank you so much for answering our feedback form. Also, please make sure to give an honest feedback so that we can help you better. Here is another feedback form for Italy. Thank True. you so much. Yes, and these are your English high school tutor guides with Mom May Sevilla as a program head. We are your tutor guides every Tuesday. Thank you for sharing all our video lessons so more will be reached as we teach. Yes, yes, yes. I hope you had another wonderful learning adventure wanderers yes, yes. this has been your tutor guide today reminding you all to be judicious in evaluating and making judgment and i am your tutor guide ram teaching you virtually yet heartily let us say bye today to say hi next tuesday